Good afternoon, everybody. It's Mike, KD2KOG, part of the technical support staff here at SDRplay.com. In this video, we were supposed to talk about digital decoding. We still are. But before we can do any type of decoding using SDR Uno and the RSP, we need a very specific piece of software. And that piece of software is called a virtual audio cable. What a virtual audio cable allows you to do is take the audio from SDR Uno and place it into the decoder of choice. So SDR Uno would be the starting point and the decoder would be the ending point for audio. You can't do that out of the box with Windows. So that's where these virtual audio cables come into play. And there's two main apps for Windows that are virtual audio cables. One is a uh, donation slash free app and the other one is a paid for app. The free slash donation one is called VB cable and the second choice is virtual audio cable which is not free but I believe my old coupon code is still going to work for virtual audio cable so you guys let me know I'll post that actually I'll show it to you launch Google type in virtual audio cable and the first two options that pop up is the free version of a virtual audio cable application called VB cable this one will allow you to assign one cable which is basically all you need and we will get into cables and all that the second option is the one that i use it's a paid for app is called virtual audio cable and it allows unlimited cables when you're decoding a signal let's launch sdr uno so this way you don't have to just look at the screen i'll give you something prettier to look at when you're demodulating audio in sdr uno let's say if uh uh, FT8, uh, CW signal, uh, an AL signal, Stanag 4625, four, was it 4265 or 4285? You have to go into the RX control settings, which is here. In the very first video, we defined our output, which was the Steinberg, which is the sound card that's used by the operating system. When you install a virtual audio cable, you're essentially telling SDR Uno bypass everything and use the virtual audio cable to transport the audio into the decoder. I do not have a virtual audio cable installed at this time, so I'm gonna install mine right now with you guys. So my virtual audio cable of choice is VAC. It is a paid for app and let's install it. Let's go to setup run yes accept now if you install the demo version of virtual audio cable not the VB cable I know this might get a little bit confusing but I want to let you guys know everything there is to know about it if it's if you don't register this it's going to create a watermark I believe it's like every 15 seconds or it might be every 15 minutes uh, saying that this is a demo and that's going to interfere with your decodes. So just keep that in mind. The free version, VB Cable, uh, is free. Will not do any of that. But you're limited to one cable. So let's click Install. Installation is successful. Let me click on my Start. Scroll down to V for Virtual Audio Cable. And I want to launch the Control Panel. By default, it created one cable which is all we really need. Created the one cable that's installed, that's running. I might have to relaunch SDR Uno for it to recognize it. Let's see. Yes. So let's go ahead and do that. And let's see if we can select that cable. Now, selecting the cable is done through the RX control since the RX control handles all the demodulated output for any device that you have within the system. And let's see if we have our cable. Here's our virtual audio cable. So now when I click play, I'm not gonna hear any audio. It's just gonna go straight out to that cable into my decoder of choice. Now I said before, VB cable allows you one cable, which is basically all you need. But if you're running multiple VRXs, now you might say, well, what's a VRX? It's a virtual receiver. And each 
virtual receiver that you add into SDR Uno is its own independent session. So it's like running another, it, it's not like it is running another instance of SDR Uno with its own set of settings. So if you have uh, something you want to monitor within the bandwidth that's selected, you can pipe all the different audio out to different cables. So I can, let's just create a VRX. So here's an additional VRX, we'll enable it. Here's the SP1 for that VRX. Here's the SP2. And here's the RX control. Take note of the VRX number here, which shows here VRX one, here's one, one and one, the main VRX, and we'll touch on VRXs also, but I don't want to deviate too much. Here's VRX zero, and that's zero. Everything slaves to zero. So if I move this, the second one is gonna follow along with it. If I lock the LO, they'll be somewhat independent, but it's within the bandwidth that's defined. It's going to get a little bit confusing, but I'll save VRXs for another video. VRX1 has its own set of settings, like I said, so I can pipe that out to a second cable if I created one in the VAC control panel. If I don't create another cable, it's going to go out either through the speakers or it's going to go out through cable one. So if you want to decode multiple things at one time within the defined bandwidth, you can. That's where VAC comes in. Now let's see if we can find that code that I mentioned. I believe it was on SWLing blog and space VAC. Uh, do, 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 do. Should be, let's see if it's this one. Nope. Let's just try SWLing VAC. And it's the first hit right here. Back in 2016, I think it was 2016, I reached out to the developer of, of Virtual Audio Cable, the paid for app, and this is before I joined SDR Play. I asked him if he would reduce the price for the SDR Play community, which he did. The code is still good and it's still valid. So go visit swling.com, go to the search area, type VAC, should be the first hit, or it might be the second hit, or the third. Click on the link. I'll put the link in the description. And what you want to do is click self support and the price goes down. That's the discount. $21.42. Add it to the cart. Pay for it and download it. Install it. Whew, that's a tongue twister. So that's basically it for the this video here. Now the next video, I'm going to assume that you either installed VB cable or virtual audio cable. And I would like to know what you guys would like me to show decode you know show sdr uno decoding now keep in mind i do have uh, the loop antenna which covers hf tr perfectly and i have a roll up j pole which i can use i don't have two lines of coax running to these antennas so we're either going to do hf or we're going to do vhf uhf and we can or if you guys don't mind like i said i do these videos in one take so there might be a pause or i might have a i might have to edit it but we'll, we'll cover as much stuff as we can that sums it up for this video let me start working on video 3.1 which is actually going to show some decoding this was just you know we had to touch base upon virtual audio cables because like i said windows doesn't have a way of allowing us to pipe the audio into uh another application so sdr uno here is the output through the cable and the decoder app you would go to the input section of that decoder and select the cable you know the virtual virtual audio cable line one or whichever amount of cables you create v this video it, it might have been a little bit confusing ask me in the comments uh anything you'd like about virtual audio cable or vb cable i'll do my best to help you but i personally use vac for the just for the feature of allowing multiple cables I'm nine times out of ten i'm only using one cable which vb cable is perfectly adequate for but if you want a little bit of flexibility and you don't mind spending 21 dollars, go for v, uh, virtual audio cable version 4.60 i will leave all of these links in the description let me get cracking on 3.1 decoding video for you guys and i'll see you in the next one seven three for now